Okay, I'm back. So, this is the Tech It Tutorial Series, episode number three. In this episode, I'll be going over the basic machines that you can hook up to your generator, slash, bat box, blah, 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 whatever setup you have. Well, for every machine, really, except for a few, you're going to need machine blocks. Uh, or, for this one we're building in particular, which is right now the electric furnace, you'll require an iron furnace as a base, a electronic circuit, as, I don't really know what part of this would, this would, it would be, but you'll just need electronic circuit, iron furnace, and then redstone. Not very, you know, resource training, but still very effective, because you could hook it up, instead of uh, using your coal, you'll just use energy, which tends to be a lot better. So, next we'll be making a, I don't even remember the name of this, but it is shaped like this. It's a compressor. So a compressor, this is maybe not the most useful in the beginning. Uh, all you can really make with this is snowballs and ice in the beginning, because it's a lot more useful later on for more advanced machinery, but in the beginning it, I wouldn't suggest making this, I'm just showing it to you, just to show it to you, I guess. So next, uh, this will require four tree taps. Don't know why I put five in that one, or that one. There you go. There you go, four tree taps. Just put them on, like, this. This is the extractor. So this is the, the extractor is what I was talking to you that way. Yep. The extractor is what I was talking to you earlier about what you put uh, sticky resin into. When you put sticky resin into this, it will extract it and you will get three rather than one rubber. And if you put a sticky, re uh, I mean like a rubber tree sapling into it, you will get one a rubber and rubber logs, rubber tree logs like the tree I showed you. If you put the logs of that in there, you will get one rubber as well. Because if you actually put that into a crafting bench, the rubber wood, you'll only get uh, three planks, which is kind of disappointing, but eh, whatever. That's why it is used best for extractor. So, next, there is one of my personal favorites, because it is super helpful, the macerator. It requires three flint, two cobblestone, machine lock, and an electronic circuit. So the macerator is what I was telling you about earlier in which you can so let me just hook up a little you know, set up I guess so if you were to take uh, just any ore and put it into the macerator it makes a very loud sound that I'm probably gonna hope I can turn off no I cannot great uh, oh maybe I can it stopped don't know why, but it stopped. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm very glad at that. It is very, very loud. Sorry, if, you know, if it was too loud for you, but not really sure. So what happens is after a while, like, it takes a while, I guess, it gives you iron dust. And if you were to put the iron dust into, well, I guess we're going to try the furnace now, to an iron furnace, it cooks. It notice it gave you, uh, for the one, uh, for the one still very loud. I'm going to try to maybe it worked before. Yeah, I think it worked. So, if you recall before, there was only one powder that I ground up. I took that out. Only one ore that I ground up, and that made one, you know, that just made powder. And with the powder, they made two powder, actually. And with the two powder, I cooked those two into two different ingots, which basically just doubled my iron. I, I like the spider audience I have right there. So that will work for, you know, just anything, like any ore that you have. And if you actually take the ingots that you get out of it, you can grind those up. As well as coal. There's there's a reason for being able to grind up coal. I'll probably show you that later. Na you know, maybe next ep episode I'll probably do power generations for, for you know, noobs, I guess. Not early people. Yeah, so I did, I just had made a terrible mistake by placing it down, but that also helps. Because if you were to try to break this with a pickaxe, you would not actually get the, uh, you would not actually get 
your block back. You would get a machine block. So that's good that that happened in this case. So what I'm going to do is show you a tool that you can make that will actually allow you to pick it up. So I'm probably just going to skip ahead to when I get it. Just basically grind up copper, uh, copper ore as well as tin. Uh, here's tin. So just, you know, ground it up and when I'm back I will show you what to do. Okay, so I figured I'd show you this while I wait. So on each machine there's, you know, a little Oh, this is the extractor? What's that? Oh, that's compressor. Oh, I didn't even realize. But on the side, there is, you know, four little boxes. And what you can do is you can put, like, little uh, up upgrades to them. And one of them makes them speed it up, which is quite helpful because I'm very impatient when it comes with the macerator. So that is quite helpful to be able to do. So now that you have, well, now that I have enough tin dust and copper dust, just put three in, the, in a crafting square. I don't know why I said three. No, 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 I need three. Yeah. Okay, so there. So you get something called bronze dust. And, well, bronze is just a new material. So just take this, put it into the furnace. I hope it's okay, I'm glad that didn't make any sound. I, I turned up my volume so I at least hear sound in general, but I didn't want to have to hear this very loudly, like, buzzing. So this just makes bronze ingots and with the bronze ingots after a little while doo -doo -doo, you'll need six of them and you can make something called a wrench which a wrench is something you can adjust a few things it's basic it's, it's a it's a multi-purpose tool you can just like take down machines with them because if you don't take it on a machine with a wrench then it'll just you'll get a machine block so what you do is you just put this to the crafting table and become, make kind of like a, well it is a Y, so not, not kind of like a, just make a Y. And just click, there you go. And those who don't know, it's right click right now. So, so right here, this is, this is like the bat box I have. And depending on what side I click on, it will move the dot. That is where the power output is. So without, if you don't want to, because let's say you have like a ton, oh my god. Gosh, I didn't even realize I had that much energy, but let's say you have a ton of energy stored up, which I do. Uh, what you do is just would adjust it. Like, with a, if you don't want to break it and lose all that energy, all you do is you can just adjust, you know, which side the power comes uh, to. Or out or, you know, receives power. So that's pretty helpful right there. So those are the basic machines that you'll have. As I said, I wasn't really going to go in depth on the compressor because this is not a very basic t machine it's pretty it, well it's not it's pretty basic but it just you know it's used for more advanced things and oh yes i don't think i have any left over but eh, i probably should have saved some just for the demonstration shoot uh well if i still had some i don't want to run for it but uh because my fans uh, if you had some uh, if i had some uh, sticky resin i could just put it up here take a little while and then it would put out three rubber right over here as well as the sapling oh actually I might have a sapling I'm not sure uh, these uh, no it does not appear I do that that's disappointing I thought I did but uh, yes so you the rubber tree rubber tree saplings will work as well as logs I had to explain this I'm pretty sure it might have been a different cut but I'm not sure well so that was episode two, and probably next episode we'll do uh, something about power generation. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if I said this, I'm just getting myself mixed up at this point, but uh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, I would start for the next episode, start grinding up coal in, in uh, the macerator. It's always a good idea to have coal ground up in here, uh, into coal dust, because we're going to be making solar panels as part, part, of, part of the next episode, and that will be requiring a lot of coal 